Okay. Okay. There we go. Where's my water? Oh my god, I've sat down for two seconds and I've already lost every single thing I own. Give me a second. Oh god, I went to look for my water, found it, sneezed, and then burped. All within the last 10 seconds, and I didn't enjoy that. Um, but anyway. Welcome back. It's Monday. Is it, it is Monday, isn't it? No, it's Friday. <laughs> I was like, yes, no, it's Monday with the greatest confidence on Earth. I don't know what day it is anymore. Um, yes, well, I mean, the main point is I'm no one in the house, so I was like, I'm going to stream. I might do the same tomorrow. Who knows? Um, but I'm not quite sure yet. But anyway, here we are, Radiant Dawn. Um, last time, we got a couple of new units. Um, we got Jill, Zihar, Tarnail, Fiona, um, and unfortunately, we did lose Iron, who was actually turning out to be like a half decent unit, which was um, disappointing, but you know, we move. Um, right, let's look and see what these guys have. I think I did do inventory last time, didn't I? If my controller would stop sliding out of my, between my knees. Why are you so slippy? Um, yeah, and everyone's got a healing item, so that's good. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's move. I remember which chapter this is, and we should be getting a... It, it should be fine. I remember it being okay. I remember the boss moving. Or did he move? I don't remember. What? An enemy attack? Yes sir, the Liberation Army is mounted an assault in the gate. We require reinforcements. <laughs> they seek to free their men. My elite guard shall stay here with me. Take the rest to squash those rebels. Sir, if your guard remains here, we'll barely enough men to... You think you're talking to, soldier. My guard and me are ready. This camp need fear no attack. Understood? Now go. You have your orders. That man was the only survivor. Hi. Looks like Toroneo has him distracted. Left only a small force here to defend the camp itself. Which means we can't use Toroneo. <laughs> Perfect. Should make it easier for us to eliminate their defenses, seize the camp, and free the prisoners. Okay, choose units. Oh, my party's full. Ew. We're not bringing... <laughs> Decision made. I was like, who am I not going to bring? Fiona. And we can't bring Taroneo. Taroneo gets, like, no screen time in this part. Okay, reposition. Absolutely not. Right, um... Okay, some, a wind mage, a fire mage. L fire, L wind, L fire. He's got a storm sword. Anyone get anything weird? Dorky. Mm -hmm. Got soap for that. Or dorky. Okay, nothing really. Um, that's not too bad. Okay, but well, what are our positions? Um, Zihar, there, Jill, the front. Yeah, there's not really much as I can do with that. Conditions. Seize. Makaira Soth dies, Volok dies. Alright, so we're seizing. So that guy probably doesn't move then. Let's see him again, just to be sure. <laughs> just in case. Fine, let's go. Okay. So we've got two armor guys over there. A little lance and a sword. Do we have anyone that uses axes? We do. If I take these guys away. How far did they go? Right, I'd appreciate it if the console would cooperate with me. Jill, you sit there for a second. Have your steel axe on the go. You have a hammer. That's really good. Right, you are a sword. So he wants one with a lance. <laughs> okay. Um, over this side. 
is not really much. I don't think I have to worry about this side though, so I think we'll just kind of move everyone forward. Along with there, I guess, and let's kind of shove everyone up a bit because I'm not putting Edward in harm's way because he'll just disintegrate. I fear. Who are you talking to, Oliana? Your your support. I turned off animation, see I did. Oh, okay. Eat. Interesting. Huh. Um. Okay. Skill, speed, lock, resistance. That's okay, Jill. That's fine. Jill, you're not as good as you were last game. I'll not lie to you. I'm sending you off my knees because you're just gonna slip every two seconds. Okay, I guess these guys are moving towards us. Huh. Okay. Other phase. Wait a minute. Oh, it's it's my king. He's coming. What do you think, Marum? Is the building so thin? Most likely, little one. I love you. And now we have an original character, Do Not Steal, Vaiku. It was in, I think, one, two chapters total. <laughs> so is it going to help them, or should we just stand here all day and twiddle our thumbs? What do you think? We're helping, of course. Keep up, Marum. Come on, Vaiku. Hey, boss, wait a second. I'll be... He's already out of sight. How does he do that on those skinny Bjork legs? Who do you think taught him how to run? We better go after him. So... Uh, what? Eh? <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair. Have no fear. Tormod is here. I'm coming to your rescue. Tormod? You crazy fool. Time for the trusty hero to save the day, I see. Still quite the showman, eh, Tormod? It's more like a reunion every moment. Now if horror were just here. I can't wait to see my man again. Hopefully he's alive. <laughs> Alright, let's go wild. Alright, so we have to watch out for magic now. Right? Oh, I don't... Ah, uh, subhuman, it's a subhuman. Oh, calm down. Just use fire magic for the beasts and wind for the birds. That'll do a trick. Child hasn't transformed yet. Nab him before he does. Fool, transforming ain't what I do, but I can't do this. You can't kill that man in a cutscene. He's a mage, fall back, don't get too close to him. What? Why are you shocked about a mage? You have a spear, you should be easily able to kill him. Who in the world are they? People I used to know. I'll introduce you later, but for now, let's concentrate on the fight. Okay, work. Um, interesting. Like if I can get, will Micaiah kill this guy? Because anytime I see armor, I'm like, yeah, Micaiah will kill. Will Volug kill this one? No. Can we get Ilyana to finish it off? Yeah, easy. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Put Makai in first, because we want to put our highest rank, Rath's character, in first, of course. Well, we're getting Makai a, um, experience, anyway. Did I have a Paragon? Was I gonna have a Paragon on her? So, I, like, I have Paragon, and I don't have anyone to put it on, really. So, um, I don't know. I should put it on someone, I shouldn't just leave it. Ileana, you take him out. There we go. Okay, All right, let's see where the rest of these guys go to. I'm expecting a lot of reinforcements in this chapter also. And hmm. 74, I'll battle now. There we go. We're gonna get Edward to level 10. <laughs> That's alright. Your resistance is still zero, however. I'm not a fan of that. Six work. Um, if we well, if we do this, fuck me. <laughs> Edward, please never leave me. This, this is again, this is gay rights. That happened, I'm not sure I would want to go on living. 
Absolutely. Let's stay together. Forever and ever. I'm so in. Maybe the Radiant Dawn support system um, isn't that bad if we can get things like this. <laughs> Kill him. Yas. Okay. So glad I did that. 79. 74. Down below the 79. Yeah, cool. Good. <laughs> Laura, we heal. Jill, not Edward. We can heal him after, but like. Not right now. What level are you? Four? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so from there. What do you have, Zemmer? You should kill an edge, Laura. Right, I think that's us. Yeah. Right, don't kill him, please. I need him. I think, actually now that I think about it, I think Torma does have bad availability. Right, I'd rather you not kill him. Okay, thank you. And he got a crit. And I've just lost all that experience. Not that I would have got it anyway, but... Warren is going to be great as usual, although I don't... Because last time... Obviously I had... Wait, who is it that talks to Torma? It's Soth, yeah, Soth. Soth Jill, Zahar. Cool. Um What's her movement? Um One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, she's got less movement because we're inside. Okay. That makes sense. Alright, so she will kill. Let's one of them out with Jill, and then put Soth there. Zehar, you can move up there, and Volug will go with you. I don't know who else is going to go, but someone will. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Edward and Leonardo can go, I guess. Laura, you stand there for right now. Um, I was saying something there, and I just completely lost my train of thought, I'm afraid. Um, oh my god, what was it? Oh, it probably wasn't important. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's the 6th of January, it's a Friday. I've just figured out what day it is. Um, because I didn't know 10 minutes ago when I announced that it was definitely Monday. Right, I'll put you there, and then maybe you'll like... Okay, how much is this gonna do? Yeah, no, that's fine. We can talk to Laura. Oh, Laura, will this torture never end? Hours of fighting and no food in sight. Good to see you. May the goddess bless us and keep us safe. Her ass is not listening. Although I do have to think, like, if I didn't lose all those characters, and by all those I mean all three, um, I really don't know who I would bring. <laughs> I'd be like, mm, do I bring Nolan? Right, is it hard to sound better? Okay, um, right, they have a lance, so I'm gonna brought him out with Jill, because Jill is obviously the tank. Um, so if you could talk to Tormod. Hey Tormod. You, when blazes you do, you scurvy traitor. What are you talking about? You grew. Too tall. To think, I expected you to make sense. I have more important things to tend to. It's important to me. I get it, Tormod. As a short king, I understand. What I really like to hear about is the issue I asked you to look into. How'd it go? I have news to report, but there's no time to chat in the middle of a fight. I'll tell you later. Hey, drat. I'm gonna talk to Micaiah now. Stay with me always, Micaiah. I'll protect you with all I've got. I promise I'll never leave you again. 
We've been together so long. I won't abandon you now, I promise. We can endure anything. Work. Um. <laughs> you can stop saying that. Now we have control over Tormid. Let's look at them. Oh, Tormid's got skill. So Tormid is a fire sage, so he's a pre promote. Experienced master of fire magic. We've also learned the secrets of lightning and wind magic. Celerity, which increases movement by two points. Oh my god, that is insane. So he's got fire and hellfire. No, not even yet. But he can. He's got B and thunder and C and wind. That's really good. Oh wow. Well, anyway, this is Morum. He's a tiger king, honestly. Um, he's got no skills. Vikish, she's a raven, so which means she's weak to wind and bows. Um, oh, Shriek. Can reduce an enemy's luck to zero for one turn after the enemy uses an indirect attack? If she gets hit with an indirect attack, she will be dead immediately. So we will never have to worry about that. Where are the archers? There's one there. There's a fire mage there. Wind mage. There's another bow. There's some more bows there. There don't seem to be too many guys here, which concerns me greatly. Alright, okay. Laura, you can talk to Eliana. Eliana, try to stay safe. Oh, hello, I'm so hungry. If you could spur some rations. Hey, Liana, you need to see a doctor. I think he might be locking in something. Iron. Talk to Leonardo. Leonardo, don't go without me. Just hold on. We can work together till this ordeal is over. Let's do our best. Yes, both of us, safe and sound. That's how I want this war to end. That was decidedly less. Um, we are in love and want to live together forever. I didn't appreciate it. Now, why we have an um, open phase? Nah, not for me. Right, Vola, you move up to. Sorry, you move up. I'm just trying to beat these guys out at this stage. So if you go this way too. Maybe that guy doesn't move because he, oh, he's in front of. What's your movement? Okay, so I move Jill here. It's fine. Vika there. Marm there. Tormod, Ilyana, and Laura. You can all stay outside of the movement range. We're gonna turtle it. Alright, Marm, you should just, just go in. Wait, that fire mage is gonna be in range, isn't it? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Sunny. Tormod. Can you kill him? Yeah, he can. So, I don't remember what's in these doors, but I have a feeling... Like it's... Um, not good. Now, why did I do that? Okay, yeah, this is what I wanted. Eleven? Okay, work. We wanted this, didn't we? Tomrod, you're taking a lot of damage more than I thought you would. Mm -hmm. A lot of damage more? Yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. So, I think we did want to open that gate for some reason. Oh, to let out the prisoners! Oh, yeah. I remember now. Alright, Laura. Ooh. You heal Tormod, please. He needs it. He's, he's got an arrow on the side of his face. He's, he's not doing well. Alright, so I don't want those guys there. What's Jill's resistance like? Huh, okay. It was the best resistance out of us. That isn't. It's um, Torment, I think. Yeah, it's Torment. Torment, stand there. I'll stand around you. Oh, I could have talked. 
Hi. Marum, do you remember me? Indeed I do, Jill. That's it, Jill. From your actions in the previous game, I don't think that's a good thing. I'm glad. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Maybe she's part of it. So why are you and Dane? You'll have to ask the little one. I'm merely trailing around after him. I see. I will ask him. Thank you for helping us today. It's an honor. See, the thing is, like, with characters like Marum and Tormund, you do get a lot of interactions between, like, them and characters from Path of Radiance like that, like Jill and Marum going, oh yeah, like, it's been ages, I can't wait to see you, and like, she'd probably have a similar conversation with Tormund. Um, but like, with, um, what the fuck is her name? Vika. <laughs> Sorry, I just went blank. With Vika, you don't get that because none of the other characters knew Vika. So it's like, oh, okay. Um, Vika doesn't get that little bit of development, which is really disappointing for her, honestly, because I feel like a lot of the characters that are Radiant Dawn exclusive could do with that extra bit of development because they don't have the support system. And like, yeah, the, um, the info conversations and stuff are fine like most characters do get a couple at least um, like Vika does get one I remember later on um, but like it's not much it's not as much as all the other characters have from the previous game and then they got a lot of them get more on top of this it just seems a bit I don't know lopsided um sir who fucking said you could do that? I didn't like it, I didn't hit them. Alright, I'm gonna have to start getting those guys involved, because that guy's a longbow. So we haven't had any reinforcements yet. I'm kinda concerned. I'm just gonna say that. We probably will be getting them, like, now. Fifteen. Seems like a lot. Cool. Oh my god, that Phantom Lemon I had an hour ago was really acting on me. I'm sorry, folks. Um... <laughs> What the fuck kind of statement? Other crap brands are available. I wish I got a Paradise Punch Lemonade and said, like, it wouldn't treat me like this. And, um, yeah, it's fine. If I could, could fly over and do the other side now, but I have a feeling that she's going to, um, yeah, she's gonna detransform in a minute. <laughs> As is Morum, actually. So who's up here? Does this Wind Mage? What is the fucking... The weapon triangle. Can I... Okay, yeah. Fire beats wind, which beats lightning. Okay, so... What about you there? Tormod. And Jill, you, s you can talk to him! Tormod! If it isn't Jill. Thanks for fighting beside us. It's a big help. Ah, it's nothing. How'd you happen to... An enemy? Excellent. Leave him to me. There he goes. At least some things never change. I, I am not going to break down these doors. Um, we're gonna revert Morin just so he can build up his gauge a bit faster. Oh, Yana is going to stand here. Okay, that wind mage. I have a feeling he's not gonna move. Okay, you can stand there. We got a big Tetris piece with an extra block. Okay, he does move. Cool. This is exactly what I wanted. Well, maybe not Torma doing this much damage because um, he's a pretty remote, <laughs> so. Yeah, there was Vika. 
I have a feeling we will be getting... If I take him away, this guy with the longbow is still there, so... It's not really an ideal situation. Right, so... But he's the only one contacted, right? Okay, so... We'll have someone on each end. Jill will be there. Eliana, you are ready to go. Why? I'm not quite sure. My brain was like, okay, Wyvern, Ilyana, even though the guy that we're fighting is an armor knight, but it doesn't matter because um, Laura just got an extra point of speed. <laughs> Thank the Lord. I think the next part of my plan was put someone else on the other side into the enemy range, but I guess I just didn't do that. Okay. Leonardo, you were going to be far behind, and if anyone comes up behind us, you're fucked. Quirk. Why did it have a stink cloud? Okay, cool. Ooh, Vika, you need to get out of there. Okay, word. Oh my god, but he's not gonna move. Because, um. Because he's in front of that door. Gonna be like that other guy. Great. Right, Liam, no, let's just move everyone up. This is all we can do. Vika, you can come up too. You should come up or else you will die. Cool. They'll be at us soon. And, oh, I've just walked into like a very thin... Okay, this is good. This is good. This is what we want as a society. Is it? I don't know if this is what we want. <laughs> Right, so, as long as Jill doesn't go beyond here, it'll be fine. Okay, right, well... You did it, Jill. It's the only person with Kanto. Great. Amazing. Right, you have a thing, so it's a good thing I didn't. Just decide to put Laura right there beside him to heal him. Um, but these guys are coming. Hand axe. Okay, this is not ideal. So if you put on there. Oh, no. Vika, you go over here to hallway. Um, Anyone two range? No? Work. I mean, I know, a lot of people can two range, but is there anyone I want to two range? Not really. Um, there's not really much I can do apart from this, I'll not lie. I'm kind of stuck with this at the minute, but I can switch it around next turn, it'll be fine. I've got my tanks to sort it out. Are these tanks in the room with us? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Why would you do that? I was feeling so good about how well this was going. And you had to pull that one? Great. Can you get over to this side? No, they can't. Okay. Warren, we're gonna get you over here because you're going to decimate these people. Vika will not be going because she's not ready yet. Oh, 
a Volok here. Yeah, I guess Volok's here now. Alright, let's test this out. She will not kill, so we need someone to go in and do the first attack. Yeah, fair. Zihark might kill him if he adapts. He didn't, so that's okay. That's totally fine. Everyone else is highlighted, so... Alright, yeah, so if Micaiah goes over and kills him, with, we don't even need the Thani. We may need the Thani. Yeah, let's use that anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm confident with that. Every single time. I need to stop saying that. Okay, she got experience. We're level 10, are we? Okay. It could have been better, I suppose. I'm gonna send Jill down here as a reinforcement. So we can stand there. Um, and the rest of you guys can do something, I guess. I don't really know. Like, who do I stand in there to get these people over? Like, can you sit over here so that whenever you do need to transform, I can just get you to fly across instead of going through where all the footed units have to go? Tomorrow you're going to steal all the experience now, but it's fine because I don't care. Interesting. 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 I would rather you... Excuse me. <laughs> Like, where do you think you're going? You had a perfectly. Like, why would you go down there? You've got lower hit chance down there. Like, you had a perfectly good vantage point. I don't understand. Okay, work. Um. Oh, he's not even gonna kill him. Wait, Warren, kill that guy. Leg's dead. Oh no. Warren was almost run out of transformation gauge. Jill can't even go down there and kill him. Warren can take out this. Not Warren. Volley can take out this archer though. And the one on the ground won't be able to come up and hit him. Because he's shit. Um, 12. Ileana, what can you do? Not much, honestly. Um, <laughs> Leonardo. Alright, so you're gonna have to go back and do it. No. 24? That's fine. What the fuck is that? I had something on my foot and it was my shoe on the ground. Let me just throw those away. Throw them away in the bin. This guy. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Ileana, you can come down here and help. Yeah, why not? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ileana! I love you, but why do you have to miss all the time? Better hit. Thanks, Jill. Vika, you need to move. Um, so who's gonna hit Zehar? Some spears? Cool. Um, <laughs> I didn't think about what Zehark was gonna do at all. Um, okay, so... What's the play here? Not much I can really do. Miss. Thank you. Uh, 
Um, huh. Hmm. That's, that's all I can say. Alright, Volok will turn here. Attacks him. He does kill him, so I'm gonna use Volok for that, because Volok's not gonna be the most useful. Alright, Moran, you're gonna go over here and revert. Um. Oh, Makai, you need to get out of there. I will put Jill in there, but... Right, okay. Can you come, please? I really don't know what to do about this situation. Zehark should be fine. If he's not, I'm um, well at the same time. There's nothing really else I can do, is there? No, there isn't. Is it hard to support it with anybody? No? No, he isn't. Amazing. Um... I kind of have to just leave it. He can tank it, it's fine. What are they gonna do? A mage is gonna come in... ...and he's gonna attack them. Yeah, so... We've got Zinhark the dodge tank at the choke point. It's okay. Folks, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Everyone at home, give Zinhark your energy. Now what would the point in this be? I like that I said I don't know what the point of this is and then just proceeded to do it anyway. He'll do. It'll be fine. She broke a heel, but it's okay. Okay. Cool. Now what? <laughs> See, I could do that, but she would die immediately. What's your resistance like, Jill? Five. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Jill will make it through this, it's fine. Like, those are the only guys, isn't it? Yeah, there's like 8 of them and 12 of us, like it's fine. Hi. What if I just put Soth in here so that Jill couldn't possibly get killed? Yeah, no, that sounds like a good idea. And if by some bizarre accident so managed to die, it will be fine. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's all I can do in this turn. Why would you do that to me? Like, sir? Who has those door keys, by the way? Soth, isn't it? No, it's Tormod. Okay. You know what, Tormod? Um, I'm gonna get Leonardo to move. You can open this door. Hi. Thank you, I'm saved. I couldn't have held on any longer. I'm gonna make a run for it. I refuse to die in this pit of despair. I choose to live and return to my family. I probably should have been opening these guys' doors earlier. <laughs> Oops, I guess. Oh well. We can go around and open the doors afterwards, it's okay. Like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. The Beast Killer is a better weapon for this, so I will be using it. Oh, because he's dead? No. Oh. Yeah, cool. Oh, so it's leveled up. That's his first level, isn't it? Okay, you know what? That's fine. Skill and strength, can't really complain about that. Yo. 
Lombardi issue here. Oh, she would have been fine. I'm just gonna steel axe her anyway. Douche. Fuck. Right, and I'm just gonna use the use, use vulnerable, right? So hard, you'll be fine. Don't even worry about it. Um, I can't put any of the ammo in because this fire guy is there and he's gonna get them. Eh. So it's gonna deal with it. Eat damage. That is fine. Hit him with the bronze dagger. These guys seem like they might not move. Alright, first of all, Jill, you go there. L Laura, you can heal Zehar, because we're gonna send him out the pastures me. And by that, I mean this space, because if we put him here, he can attack from like three areas. Four areas, sorry. And then, um, doesn't sound like something I wanna do, deal with. Get involved, you go there. Dormant, you can go and open this door. Hi. You really came to save us? Thank you. Oh, thank you. No idea how scared I've been. Glad I didn't give up. We knew the Maiden of Miracles would free us. That's a new title for her. I don't think we approved that one. In the brainstorming session. Thank you very much. Okay, work. Um, these guys do not get a fuck. So, do they not move? Can I? Can I get join you? Yeah, we'll try it. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna we just be doing shit today. I guess. That's the wind one. Right, let's shift. Rika. Who? Vika. What one did I kill? The wind one? Yes. Fire one. It does. You can't reach up there anyway, so. Hey, so. Ah, uh, hello, it's been a while. Little Soth, you've grown up. Why does everyone keep saying that? Well, you have, hmm? You know, little? Oh, sorry. I guess I have to respect your manly pride now. Yes, please. Or something like that. Sir Soth, will that do? Soth will do. Just Soth. I'm afraid I could never speak so familiarly with my little one's good friend. So, with your permission, Sir Soth. No, that doesn't... Oh, never mind. I love that for him, actually. Um, you can open this door. Soth. This isn't a dream. I can really leave this miserable cage. Oh, thank you, thank you. You've saved my life. Did they feed you guys in here? I need to speak to someone. <laughs> I have some concerns about the treatment of these um, people. Right, come on, Torment. The guy with the spear is not going to move, so I don't have to worry about him. It's just this mage. How do you know he's not going to move? Because he's in front of the door. Apparently no one is going to move. Oh, that guy can't get out. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Um, okay. What? Say, we just take out one of these guys. If I can, you take out this spear guy. Like, I fear this is the only battle you will see. Oh, you got a door key. Cool. You can let the last guy out. And I can't just wait for them to leave, because it's a seize map, so... Like, I've got all the time in the world. Well, no. 
because I want to get more than one chapter done today. My brain said you can grind up some like support um, points or something, and my brain was like, what? No. That's not a thing in this game. <laughs> Where's Micaiah? Oh, she's there. Right, I'm gonna leave some space for this guy to get out. Right, okay, since we've discovered that these guys don't move... No, I'm just gonna get more time to take him out. We can get everyone, like, ready and prepared around this zone. So we can figure out who we are getting to actually kill him. Your Liberation Army, I've heard about you. I'll never forget my debt to you. Now how did they hear? You're in jail. If I survive and make it home, I vow to divide the rest of my life to your cause. I'll fight for day and honor like you do. No problem. So this guy's got a storm sword, which means he has one two range. But yeah, so he can attack here, here, and here. There's only four spots we can actually attack, so we're gonna sort of form a ring around him. It's gonna be just like if you have if you saw my Path of Radiance stream. It'll be like Bryce. No. What the fuck was his name? Um Burton? Whichever. The Mass Rider. Or what that one was Bryce, wasn't it? I don't remember. Um Yeah, that stinky one. <laughs> The one that killed Joffrey and Sauron. <laughs> that one. It's gonna just surround them like this. Right, what does Thani do? Thani almost kills seven. We just need to get seven damage on him. Right, Liliana, what do you do? Nine. But you die. And you're very unlikely to hit it. Tormund, what do you do? Right, so if it needs to be, we'll do that. Just for funny. Interesting. <laughs> just just for funny purposes. What do all these people do? Cool. Anyone need healed in this immediate lineup? No? Cool. Right, um... Zehark, what do you do? Not that, actually. I think I was gonna say, anyone... Two, three, four, five. What do you do with the hammer? 27, but 44 percent. Um, I'm gonna try it. Ugh, blundering is true like a bull in a china shop. Come closer so I can shatter your ambition like glass. I will beat into your very bones so just to rule this land. To be fair, that is a raw line. Jill, why would you do this? You leveled up at least. You know what? That's what we wanted. Mm. Rejected. Right, Tormod. Fuck him up. And then we'll get Micaiah to finish him off so she can get the boss experience. Because she has a guaranteed. Actually, what does L do? 12, 97, 10, oh, we can use light. We are the day in Liberation Army. We demand you free the hostages or face the consequences. Of all the ridiculous, all you pigs from day will be our slaves till you die. It's your destiny. What a need have swine for freedom. Swine are happy in being kept and consumed. That's how you really feel, then. Cool. We were worthless, trivial. Only scum of day in how? How could that filth of I misread that statement. Okay, she didn't even level up. Fuck me. Alright, Laura, swoop in and heal some people. I'm gonna let some of these guys get out. Cause I think we either get items or bonus experience and you know what both of those things sound pretty good to me 
so I'm going to let them leave. I'm like, why? It adds a couple of turns a turn count? Yeah, it'll be fine. Besides, I'd, we couldn't have done it that turn anyway, because Nakaya has to be the one to seize, if I remember correctly. I don't think Soth can do it either. Oh. Marin had enough of being a tiger. Which is fair, like, it does seem like it will be quite tiring to be a tiger all day. Right. You know what? That's pretty good. HP strength for a priest? Absolutely. Get out, please. <laughs> right, okay. Alright. Thanks, Flora. For your Only 26 turns? Like, I don't think that's that bad. Okay, right, he's gone. And we did open all of them, but you know what, it's fine. We did it. We saved the city. See here, Soth, who were they and where did they come from? Will they join my Liberation Army? They're my personal acquaintances from Benion, and yeah, they can handle themselves in a fight. Let me... Oh my god, let me climb up on this bed a bit. I'm like hanging off the edge and it is not comfortable. If any more Lagoos join us, there'll be problems. Man is to hide Volug in his true nature, but with more Lagoos, it'll surely get out. Lagoos, they're powerful and expendable. Just what we need. By all means, invite them to join. They're good friends. I'm sure they'll ask if they'll agree if I ask to help. Mumbling creep. But isn't it the prince and not you who should make these decisions? Question me not, young Soth. My words are the prince's words. You need to understand that. I don't believe that at all. Isn't that right, my prince? Uh, yes, that's right. You should do as Izuka wishes. Like, this man's not inspiring me at all. <laughs> I see. I'm glad you see. Now quickly, quickly, go talk to your friends and see the way you don't fall off. Like, if this fight wasn't for, like, the liberation of the country as a whole, I don't think anybody would be part of this. How'd you get here so soon? More importantly, how'd the investigation go? It went great. In fact, we finished up so quickly, we flew here to back you up in case you needed help. Um... Oh, sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. You're Micaiah, I take it? I'm Tormund. A few years back, Soth and I were in the Crimean army. Soda. We fought side by side as mercenaries on the Reich. But... Okay, I'm comfortable now. <laughs> of course, General Ike. Again. I beg your pardon? Nothing, don't mind me. So anyway, what is this investigation so requested of you? I begin to doubt that the Apostle, Banyan's Empress, actually knew what was happening in Dayan. Yeah, to be fair, like, Sanaki seemed really in, into it, like, keyed into things, so, um, didn't really seem like someone that would let this stuff happen. Only 13, the Apostle might be young, but she's proud and upstanding. Does that mean she was 10 years old? A path of Radiance? Oh, that's even better. She'd never let these kind of things happen to Dayan. So I asked Tormid to fill her in on what was really happening here. Excuse me. This is what we learned. The Apostle had noticed something shady about Dayan. She was investigating on her own. She traced the ones pulling the strings with certain faction of senators. Now she's snappy mad, but without proof she can't publicly move against them. The Apostle's the highest power in Benion. Even so, she and the Senate are really on good terms with each other. So she promised she'd help us however she can. She said to do whatever's necessary. That inspired me to find you sooner rather than later. I see. So, I can depend on having you around for at least a little while? Yeah. Your old pal here is going to take care of everything. Just try getting rid of me. I can only try. What do you mean by that? Ah, oh, you're as blockheaded as ever. I don't think Torment got a single look in during Path Radiance. That's so... Th he looks happy for some reason. Because he's reunited with my little one? That must be it. Oh, so, ever since he was small, he's tried to act more grown up than the grown ups. I've taken care of him so long, and still I've never seen him smile so easily before. Mm, watch what you say. Comments like that. They reveal your appearance, belies your true age. What are you. Among the Lagoos, there are those who detest and revile half breeds such as yourself. They call you parentless, and deny you any Lagoos heritage, honor, or dignity. Take due care. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, that, and that's the reveal. And if you remember from last time... Yeah, it was last time, because we only got Peleus last time. Um, Peleus had that conversation with Micaiah about the branded, and I think that says it all. warriors led by Tormod join the escaped prisoners, and Dayan's army grows ever larger. Its victories at Talrega and other key locations have strengthened its position. I don't remember one of these every the chapter. The army rides across the land, liberating prisoners from Benihan encampments. The Dayan ranks swell with the influx of veteran soldiers, and the men begin to dream of the day when they may retake the capital. Like a fever, conflict grips the nation. The night will be long before this fever breaks. All eyes turn toward Dayin's capital as the liberation begins what all believe will be a long and bloody march. Oh. This one I think it is. Glory Unwanted. Yes, okay, I know this one. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. I keep saying, oh, is this the one I think it is? And it's like, I've been right every single time. Like, I know part one, like the back of my head. Back of my hand. <laughs> it's part three where it's gonna get. Ooh. You summoned me, Your Grace? Jared, there's trouble. The Apostle's going to form an inspection team. She'll dispatch it today in. Oh. I've managed to defeat with the Senate's Vice Minister, Gugados. We asked him to favor. I imagine he could discreetly sweep their findings under the rug. But in the meantime, you must obliterate the insurgents. Once that is done, we'll devise excuses. Understood, sir. What's the plan? Will the senators be able to cover up this mess? The inspection team and the rebel armory ever cross paths. Even the Senate won't be able to hide the truth. We'll lure the rebels to Shifu Swamp. We'll plant teals of a mass execution there, and they'll be sure to come. Then we'll cr trap the malcontents and wipe them from the face of the land. Yeah, it's Shifu Swamp. It sounds like an Avatar location. The cartoon, not the multi-million blockbuster which I haven't seen yet the first one I've seen long ago but I don't remember what happened second one I'm like oh, I'll see it at some stage I guess but I'm not going to rush out and see it now it's amazing my wound is healed I like your helmets by the way the horns and the big like scythe I give you thanks I never would have thought I'd see the silver haired maiden work miracles before my very eyes Silverheard Maiden, help them. You must help them. Who the hell are you? Help who? What's going on? Calm down and tell me. They're killing our men. I beg you, please save them. This woman is a paid actor, I fear. Prisoners for Joad work camp are being collected in Shifu Swamp and executed. Not only a Joad. Joad? Joad. There's reportedly a plan to exterminate all prisoners in every camp and let the swamp conceal the remains. I've heard nothing of such a plan. It's a false rumour, or an enemy trap. It may indeed be a trap, but if we don't investigate, we risk a mass execution. What if it is a trap, and they vanquish the Liberation Army? Dream of restoring Dayan, the glory will die instantly. For the good of Dayan's future, we must ignore this threat. I understand. And that's why I won't take any troops. Only myself and my old friends will go. Micaiah? If you refuse them your permission, I will go alone. Stop right there, little lady. I will not authorize this action without the prince's full approval. Izuka, let her do as she wishes. Please, she hasn't disappointed us yet. My prince... Ugh. Fine, but I can't help but feel as these children are running your army. They are. You're not doing a very good job of it, I may add. Right, okay. Does anyone else need any weapons? I believe that Fiona and Taromeo can't come on this mission, so we don't need to worry about them. Um, you got loads. You still got loads, Jill. Oh, you loads of Hark. You have another staff won't go over us, but I don't think I'll need it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. You don't need this coin, I don't think. I don't think we're gonna need this door key. Okay. There's a shop I think it'd be nice. We'll give this to Laura. Worms there, that could be handy. Olivia Grass. 
Oh, 15 points to transformation gauge. I'm gonna do that and put in the convoy. Because I don't think I need it right now. I will forget it's there. And it will be gone. No, that's not what I wanted. Skills. I mean, like, who am I gonna give Paragon to, really? The Bilyama? She can't afford it. Um, so the only people who can get it are Zihark, Volug, Soth, and Micaiah. So I'm going to give it to Micaiah. Cool. I'm so glad that went well. Um, Volug. Wait, no. You two people are going to be more gay than I. Yes. B star gays. Um. Jill, Zehark. Jill and Zehark, you can support, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Volug, Makaya, Soth, and no. Anyone you want to support with is already married. Oh, my info conversation is Soth. Just by ready. Let's talk to Tormodon. Makaya? Oh, sorry. Remember our promise from three years ago? There are no secrets between us. So Thmarum knows I'm older than I look. I see. Well, don't worry too much about it. You can trust him. Yes, I'm sure of that. Thmarum seems very trustworthy, but what about everyone else? What would they think if they knew of all my abilities came from my mixed blood running through my veins? Blood they considered cursed. Micaiah, stop. Right now, when they look at me, they have love and affection in their eyes, but would they look at me the same way if they knew? I don't want to find out, Soth. I don't think I could bear the truth. You know, we can stop. What do you mean? Look, this was an impossible situation to begin with. You've always led such a secluded life. Ever since you were thrust into this position, I worried the pressure might get to you. You're right. I knew it would turn out like this. Despite that, I accepted the job. I can't stop now. But, Micaiah... Listen, Soth. I realized something after a day and lost the war. What's that? I realized how much I love my country. And... During the war, I spent a lot of time with people of day in while I was waiting for you to return. After we lost the war, all our cities and towns have been reduced to ruins. We had to help each other to cope. We supported and comforted each other. That's how we survived. You never mentioned this before. I've been secluded so long, I had no idea people were so strong and kind. No one knew who I was, but they helped me because I was from day in. They were so loving. They were my friends. And now you won't leave them. I was touched by their kindness. Now I'm scared to lose it. Very scared. Akaya, I suppose this isn't the time to worry about such things. My powers need to liberate Dayan. I'll stand my ground and fight. Well, not to spoil the resolve, but if things get too hot, I'm just going to grab you and run. Soth, friends and Dayan are important, but not as important as you are to me. Remember that. Alright, thank you, Soth. That's lovely. I love that. I love Micaiah. Anyway, Toronei was going to talk about his divorce now. Sorry about this, Lady Micaiah. Just this once I agree with Lord Azuka's concerns. I completely understand. This is my fight, and mine alone. Please keep the prince safe, General Toronei. I'll protect Micaiah. I've enlisted extra help too. We'll make it back in one piece. It is my trust in you, so best of luck. Oh, I nearly forgot. You should take this. What a peculiar staff. What power does it possess? To restore a staff and help you recover from poison, sleep, and paralysis. Oh, that means that there's gonna be poison, sleep, or paralysis in this chapter. Enemies will use every method they possess to destroy you. It's best you be prepared for every eventuality. Thank you, General Taro Nail. We will return safely. I know. I know you'll see the hostages too. Cool. Restore staff. And hopefully, Laura can use that. I wonder where boss is. These tents all look the same. Hey, Vika, can I help you? Meep. Vika. You almost run away from me. Did I do something to offend you? No, I'm so sorry. I can't explain why this happens. I get so jumpy around you. There's just something about you. Oh. Oh, but please don't be sad. It's not you. It's me. I get confused sometimes. I really admire you, and then I get a bizarre feeling and lesbian. It's alright, sorry to bother you. No, we I want to overcome this. I don't like that I feel I must avoid you for some inexplicable reason. But I know how painful it is to be feared. 
I'm really, really sorry. Let's be friends, okay? If you can forgive me, that is. Of course I forgive you. Thank you, Vika. I'd be honored to have your friendship. Here, take this as a token of that friendship. Please, take it. I'd like you to have it. What a beautiful figurine. The goddess looks so serene. Carry it with you. It'll bring you good luck. I met my boss and Warren thanks to that figurine. Thank you, Vika. I'll cherish it. I'm glad you like it. I don't think... I may be wrong on this, but I feel like Vika does not show up again. <laughs> I'm going to have a look at the character tree. Because I love this feature. So, <laughs> ignore that. But like, okay. What the fuck do I... So you see now, we got the great riders. We're missing one, because it's Gawain. Grail. We know this, but um, I guess Mikaya doesn't know it. We got the four riders. And... Bertram, that was his name. Um, Black Knight's not there. I'm not quite sure why he's not there. So we know who he is. And if you notice on this, characters that are playable and have died during your profile, your, like your playthrough, their image is black and white. But if characters are like historically dead, like the four riders, Bryce, Bertram, Patrine, and Ashnard, they're kind of like green, which I think is an important difference. Um, let me look around if we've got anyone else. Oh, we've got the Lagoos front, which is Tormon, Marm, and Vika. Senators. I'm Senator. The only person from Crimea so far is Meg. Okay, right, let's leave the base. I feel I should have prepared slightly more. Good, you may begin. Here, have a little swim. I hate this chapter. Oh no, no, please help someone. Stop. I was gonna say, Makai, are you gonna solo this man? You're not bleeding heart filth. What the fuck does that mean? We're the day in Liberation Army. Everyone hold tight, you'll be safe soon. Look at her, her. Could it be the Silver Herd Maiden? Our country saviour come to rescue us? A saviour day in. Whether they suspected a trap or not, they're here. Brazen fools. All hands take battle positions. That is more people than I expected her to be. Silver Herd wench. I'm gonna drown you and all of Dan's hope in these filthy waters. You've no escape. So it's a trap after all. Don't get too smug, you cruel cowards. We have some little something up our sleeves, too. Tormod, here's your chance. Okay, so there are less guys than I thought. Which is good. Okay, right, they're... <laughs> I was gonna say, they're not dead. Can you kill them, please? Lady Nyla, Volog. Oh yes, we get Lady Nyla in this chapter. And she does slay severely. She's very strong. Is it subhumans? They're everywhere. Hi! Raphael, even you came to help? We finally get a heron. And then we get a little tutorial on what herons can do. What happened just now? What was that strange song? It was Vigor, a Heron Galder that can re-energize our allies in a fight. Don't be distracted, Micaiah. Let's set out our formation while we can. Okay, work. Um, choose units. Select one more. Why are they on... Jill! We can't bring Jill! Why can't we bring Jill? What the fuck? Maybe Jill will just break the map, I suppose. Can we talk to anyone? Raphael, Nyla, Micaiah, Micaiah. We will not be participating in that conversation, I fear. Alright, so we get Micaiah, so Thorne, with Warren, Vika, Raphael, Nyla, Volig. Laura obviously has to come. Zehark is coming. Yeah, sorry, Leonardo. <laughs> That's just the way it's gonna be. Oh, I was like, where the rest of them, but I'm gonna get a couple, I guess. Okay, I'm conditioned. Is it right? It's right. 
Carstos dies, Nyla dies, or all prisoners die. If all can die, apparently. Alright, let's look at the enemies. Anything weird. There's a lot of wind magic, some thunder magic, but Jill's not here, so it doesn't matter. There we are, there's the venom axe. That's the poison axe. Great. Some healers, okay. That's a lot of venom axes. Okay, right, well, nothing too exciting. Alright, let's save and... It'll be fine. Okay. Let's get another step before I start. That's a bob. Right, if I remember correctly... What the fuck? They got a dragon out here. If I remember correctly, the bandits will go for... What are you? Thunder? Okay. okay Fallug, what are you doing? Yeah, you can't kill him. Yeah, you can kill him easily. Nyla should be able to kill the other one. Hmm. Interesting. I need to look at Nyla and Raphael's stats here, actually. Right, Nyla got Great Fang, which is great. She's got a concoction. She's got a double S strike already? Oh, wow. Glur, okay. Can petrify an enemy until the current map's cleared? Wow, okay. Redirect attacks. It's aimed at supported allied units towards this unit. So if she stood beside her support, she can take things. Um, form shift, which is the Royal Lagoo's skill, she can transform forever. Multiply the unit strength by three and have enemy skill for a turn. That's really good. Right, where's Raphael? I could just find him on the map quicker. Right, Heron. Raphael, Heron, Prince, lost her in his kingdom. He cannot fight, but wills a part of Galder. Um, he's got a Seraph robe on him for some reason. Source heat speed all adjacent units equal to this unit's magic power. That's quite good. Six a turn. Right, you're only going down there to do Right, yeah, you do that. It's a hark. Just take him out. Just kill his ass. I didn't give. <laughs> it's fine. It's alright. Um, I really don't have to worry about the staff because, like, Micaiah stood right beside her, so it really don't matter. Right, Liana, you can take this guy out, hopefully. Yes, good. Why didn't I get Micaiah to do it? Because um, I knew that would happen, and I thought it would be funny. Why do you have zero fucking anything, like, honestly. 19 and 19 is 38. Yes. My maths, like, A-level maths, Rishi Shunak is quick in his grave at the moment, like, the A-level maths has really helped me to get to this moment. I actually do have an A-level in maths, and sometimes I do struggle, so it's not the be-all and end-all, but he seems to think it is. Right, what is the route that I'm taking here? So obviously I'm going to take out... These guys are going to move up this way, and then move down. Am I going to get... Well, Vika can do whatever the fuck she wants, really. And the... They're going to move down. Um, okay, right, well, you can stand there for a bit. You stand there, one space away. And... Take this, please. Yeah, cool. Edward, you stand here for emotional support purposes. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that priest decided to take the first move. Uh, 
Hmm. Where the hell is he going? Alright, okay, our priority is going to have to be as soon as we can take out that um, White Run Rider, we have to because he's going to kill the prisoners. And we can't let him kill the prisoners. Because that would be bad. Okay, that's fine. Do not poison Soph. I what did I just say? Honestly. Um <laughs> That's so mean of you, like, honestly. He's gonna go straight for this guy. Like, I'm sorry, Mr. Prisoner, but you're fucked. Like, you've only got three strength, ew. But he does have no combat skills. I was just looking, I'm like, does any of them have any items on them? <laughs> okay, so. Cool. Yeah. Volog should do is heal. Yeah. And Raphael should like oh, step away for a bit. Right, we'll give Eliana can yeah, right, okay, Eliana did it, so it's fine. There's a lot less to worry about here. Crit? No. Right, we'll ever can take this guy out then. And I know he's got five health, but like, you know. He's fine. Who's gonna be attacking him? No one. We can use this restore staff because God knows we were given it for a reason. It gives you a lot of experience. Kaya, you can stand here also. Are we, what are we doing now? Not much? Okay. Alright. Marm, you can move over there. I'm gonna get Vika to kind of stay in the middle, I think. Okay, good, 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 good. Someone attack Nyla, but Miss Thing. That's not allowed. Oh shit, he one-shots them, okay. Oh no, he's beside the next one. Okay, work. Right, okay, Volant's like poison now, which is less than fun. He has a hand axe, so he's not gonna poison anyone. Work. Now why do you have to do that? Hmm? Can I go rescue one of these guys? No? Okay. <laughs> then what can she do? Right, okay. Nyla, you sound there. Kill this guy. Raphael, you can Vigor Nyla, so she can go down to the south and help out Tormod. Yes, sounds like a plan, honestly. Because like this priest who gives a fuck. It's just a priest. Um, okay, card. Maybe you'll crit? work. Cretan didn't even kill it. That's what we want to see. Alright, what's he gonna do to 11? 
That's totally fine. Right, we'll just have everyone ready to go. I forgot about you. I think he will go for the prisoner still. I put you in the bushes. No, okay. Right, we'll take him out. And it'll be fine. It's like, Dormant has a shit ton of health. For a mage. Warm, you can kind of stay out of there, I guess. Yeah, I'm kind of used out there, out of harm's way. Okay, Vika, can you transform now, please? Like, alright, now he's in the fucking sand. The sand? Now, what did I mean by that? Um, don't. Don't do this. Oh, oh the, the pain. Can you people? Oh my god. I'm not getting Torment killed. I'm not doing this. You run away over here and heal, please. You don't have a fucking vulnerability. He's not gonna kill him, so. Can you sit in these bushes here and drink this vulnerability? And what's your movement range? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Raphael, you just move a couple of spaces up. <laughs> Eliana, you can get your revenge on this man. Not fully, but like partially. A partial slay. Edward, you gonna? Yeah, there we go. Edward Gaming is back, babies. Now he's level 10, I think. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, we should, we should converse. Eliana, please let me come with you. You never know when you might need the goddess's protection. Let's go together. When I'm with you, I feel much better. Also, yeah, she had shit skills. Don't know why it is there whenever it doesn't fucking work. Right, what? A rank. B rank. Okay, cool. Let's make a move. People on the bottom there can kind of deal with whatever the hell is happening there. Okay, if I could. I guess they can. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Right, so we have to get this guy before... Morin. Oh, hey. He actually did a decent amount of damage there. Volig is in the bushes, so it's okay. But this man is now also in the bushes. He's in the trenches. Right, you know what we're gonna do to deal with that? Um, Nyla is going to beat the shit out of this um, giant dragon. She did a spin. That was cool. I did enjoy that. Um, Savage, I've completely forgotten what that does. <laughs> Triple strength? Is that it? Okay, um... I would really prefer if... This wyvern wasn't, like... Looking us down like that. Right, so hard you stand there. And so if you stand there... Right, 
Oh, he's dead. Okay, that's fine. That's fun. Why would you... Oh, my God. Oh, like... Yeah, okay, we'll kill this guy, because there's a 100% chance. And Raphael might be able to come and sing to him, maybe? Because he hasn't done that yet today. No, okay. No. <laughs> no, you do not get to use the Seraph robe. Who the fuck do you think you are? You think this is the final chapter when I decide to actually use those things? No. Oh, Laura, all this fighting and no food. I'm fading fast. Please, can I team up with you? Certainly. The goddess has said that helping others is excellent and praiseworthy. She's doing that for brownie points with the goddess. Okay, great. Oh! Uh oh. <laughs> I was gonna, like, oh, strats. Wait a minute, there's only two left. For oh, fuck's sake. Right, Vika. I'm gonna need you to kill this man. The fuck do you mean? Like, what do you mean? I asked you to do one thing, and you can't even do it. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna kill both of you now. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done it the other way around. This is a very bad decision. Also, Raphael can die in this chapter, I fear. He was not a game over condition. I can't do that. No, I can't. I have to heal. Shit. Oh no, I should have checked that first. Lord, he's gonna go for Raphael. Raphael is fucking dead. No. There's absolutely no point in my not going back there. Torment, you can go back. If not even just to get a vulnerary. <laughs> Alright, okay, let's move on with these guys. Because there's nothing they can do apart from move on. Right, okay, please. Why he just he just ignored Raphael? Like I would feel so awkward. Okay, there's one prisoner left. This isn't good. <laughs> this is what some people would classify as undeniably the worst possible situation. Oh, thank you. Okay, Vika, kill him now. Thank you so much. That crit was deserved. Oh my god. Like, it did not need to be this way. Vika, I'm gonna get you to hang out here, actually. Okay, like, he did hit that time. And I feel like if he had tried to hit the last time, he would have hit also. Also, Raphael, your Lagoos gauge is going up very slowly. I just want to say that. Could you imagine that the damage? I didn't even look because I was like, that's a priest with the staff, it's not going to do damage. He could have. Right, Torment. We're going to get you held. Don't worry. We're, we're going to help you. So if you stand there, eat some herbs, and be safe. The rest of us will be joining you soon. Edward is coming, like, I honestly, if it were me, I would feel very reassured by that. Right, Warren, you can go too. 
Nyla, you stand there. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not this, like... My torment trade with... Balak only has one Vulnery left. gonna do this so I can get Raphael some experience because yeah, I don't really think we need anyone at this end anymore I don't think we shouldn't we do that's fucked up um, okay now like, you can get this man now what you were at 16. You will be fine. He's restore staff and water him because he's not having a good time of it. But more him in the zone. But Zehark here. None of you are getting into the zone. Because you will die. Some of you can't even make it to the zone. That must be embarrassing for you. Okay, so they are actually coming for us now. That's good. Because I would rather not have the prisoner of Azkaban get attacked. But I would really rather that not happen. Okay, work. Okay, work is the only thing I can say. It's the only thing I've been capable of saying like, all day today. Thank God I have not been at work today because I don't think my body could have handled going into work and then saying, oh, okay, work to someone in real life that I didn't know. Because I think that would have been my 13th reason, I'm not even gonna lie. Okay, more. What are you? Wind? Okay. Go in and kill this guy. Is that the extent of his movement art? One, two, three, four, five. So as long as you don't go past where Soph is, it doesn't matter because Laura can't reach anyway. No, that's fine. 31. Like, that's not gonna hit. Makai... Makai will get hit with this L wind. As far as I understand... Wait. I don't beats light. Apologies, I was wrong. <laughs> we need to kill it though, so... I have to kind of take a shot of it. I should have battle saved. Oh well. What can you do, I guess? You know. Oh, I can solve this situation easily. That was really good. I can't solve this situation easily. The, the situation solved that I thought of, I realized didn't work because I was just going to let Soph here. And I was like, that does not solve the problem. <laughs> at all. Right, you guys can still make it if you hurry. I don't, Volag, I don't know about you, but I don't know if you're gonna make it. Nyla, oh god, Nyla's drowning. Okay, please don't kill Zehar. My forces overpowered. The enemy fights with such passion. There's another to Maiden's powers. Fleek. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, he's going for Soph. Cool. I thought they would have went for Micaiah. 
but I guess she probably has like just good resistance so they don't need to. Right, Morim, kill this stupid head. Um. Ooh, that crit though. Yeah. Silver heard me or whoever you really are. I knew you'd come. I knew your reputation would suffer. You'd abandon those prisoners here. You had no choice but to come. How many innocent, defenseless people have you ordered killed? Just lure me here. Look whose passion judgment. Me and the miracle savior, Dan. You spun quite a pack of lies to inspire your conquered people. That ends here, wench. Let's show them how insignificant you really are. What she did, all those things. I don't understand. Mr. Radman. Radman. Right, Edward, can you beat the shit out of this man? No. Oh, you will die. Okay. Bronze dagger in. Hmm. I'm gonna breathe sword him. Because that will guarantee he dies before. Yeah. I that 2% crit, I just couldn't risk it, I'm sorry. That wench, her power's much too dangerous. She shouldn't, mustn't be allowed to. Oh. Oh no. Okay, um, Vika, do you want to kill this priest? Do you want to be the last kill? I'm gonna get, um, Raphael some experience also. So, I'm gonna get, like, no bonus experience of this map also, because, um, literally one person is still alive. <laughs> That's actually really embarrassing. Right, Vika, do your thing. I honestly expected her to take damage. Would not have been surprised. I'm going to blow my nose because I need to. That was lovely. Anyway, we're nearly back to camp. Wonder the prince will overlook the fact that I insisted on this mission. I'm sure he'll be happy when he sees the prisoners are safe. Soth, I don't know if that is a true fact. Soth, do you hear a noise coming from the canyon? Is it people shouting? What is shouting at? Look, look up there. The maiden has returned, and the prisoners are with her. That's prisoner singular, I think. She won another victory. She escaped her trap and destroyed the enemy. Again. Radiant with divine protection, she truly has the goddess's blessing. The silver-haired maiden, our priestess. Priestess of dawn. Hooray, Lady Micaiah. What could they be celebrating? C can you not hear them? Seems the soldiers are celebrating the liberation of the prisoners. You should wave to them. People like their heroes seem approachable. It would make them happy. I'm no hero, but I see what you mean. <laughs> oh, they love it. To be fair, if Micaiah Fire Emblem waved at me, I would be ecstatic. What a glorious sight she is. Lady Micaiah, Lady Micaiah, the Priestess of Dawn. And this is an issue, politically, I'm afraid. And I worked this out the first time I was playing, as a child. This is gonna be bad. Good, but bad. Here you are, I've been looking for you. Soth. Soth. Hello. After all those soldiers cheering, I feel like I'm doing real good here. Makaya? So please come quick, there's something wrong with Marum. Okay, like, it all kind of went downhill really quickly. <laughs> Marum, got a hold of yourself, look at me. Oh, the little one. This happens over and over. Marum suddenly transforms and he growls like he's losing his mind. And if I, if I grab him and yell his name over again and again, he returns to himself, but then it just starts over. And, and when he's growling, his eyes, they look 
as if one of them is looking at me. Them? One of them? One of who? You can't mean... No. Help him, please. I don't know what to do. The time between transformations is getting shorter and shorter. My body can't... No, 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 little one, get away. No, I won't let you. I'll die before I let you go feral. Marm, look at me. That song. Oh, what a bob. Raphael. Ugh. What? Marm, Marm. The Galder of Rebirth restores, restores twisted bodies and souls to their proper states. He will be alright now. Thank you. Without Marm, life would be terrible. What was that song? It was different than when he sang before. It was a Galder of Rebirth. I heard it once before in the war, but... Micaiah, what's wrong? I feel odd. Maybe it was the song. I'm shaking for some reason. But I'm truly glad Marm will be alright. Feral ones? In the Mad King's War, Dane's military developed, developed living weapons. They were called Feral Ones, the goos that had been warped and twisted by terrible experiments. Terrible, you say? Do you mean to refute the highly affected results of my brilliant research? So, if you remember back to Path of Radiance, um, the penultimate chapter, I believe, where you go to that one tower and there's like loads of lagoos, just like dragons and stuff, and you go to see of someone, I don't remember who's in that. Ina? Maybe Ina? No, I think you have Ina that chapter. Doesn't really matter. But you go to the tower, and it's there's a cutscene before it where you see this guy going like, what the fuck? And then he leaves, and there's like no explanation whatsoever. The guy in that cutscene is Azuka. So Azuka is the one who created the feral ones, and now, like, you know, he's supposed to be like the good guy on the side, and even though it is a complete swapping of perspectives, it's like, this man's clearly evil. Can we get rid of him? <laughs> like, he's literally drugged Marim. Like, can we just execute him off screen, please? He doesn't deserve to have one on screen. Then it was you. You secretly gave Marim the drug to turn him into a feral one. And what's wrong with that? Maintaining constant battle and strength and beastie at how splendid. How dare you? Transforming Lagoos into Feral Ones dramatically shortens their lifespans, destroys their sense of self, and they do nothing but fight until they die. And you, you gave more of that drug. Pawns need no sense of self. It's only natural to sacrifice soldiers for victory in war. You twisted maniac, you were the lowest. Everybody wait, please. Pelias, if you, like, defend him, I think you should just leave. <laughs> no one likes you. Like, literally no one likes you. He's clear, clearly the terrible thing that that sub that Lagoos. I apologize. Torment, I'm truly sorry. He will not use the drug again. So please try to forgive him. No, absolutely not. Zero forgiveness. Prince Pelias. My prince, we must have not have royalties barring and scraping before swine like. That's enough. Tormod. Let him go. I hope Ezekiel dies in the next 32 seconds. Oh, hey. Oh, we could see Queen. There she is. I see. Is that true? Yes, Apostle. Our occupation forces have engaged in appalling and inhumane excesses in Dayan. These excesses were perpetuated entirely outside the knowledge of the occupational governor, Duke Namida. I come to you penitent, feeling my duties as governor. I, Namida, share a measure of guilt for this disaster. I am prepared to take the appropriate measure punishment Apostle Sanaki, and this shows you that the people in the government, they're only in it for themselves. However, I feel that freeing the people of Dayan from the clutches of our oppression is our most urgent task. Urgent, you say? Then we must make haste. We will forthwith convene an inspection team and request a meeting with the army led by the late King Ashnard's orphan. We will assure them of Banyan's intentions. Then we will immediately address the occupation forces tyranny. 
Excellent. In that case, please do deign to allow me, your humble servant, looking in, to lead the inspection team. The soldier who have in the Empire's knee will be toppled where they stand. I promise they shall not live to return here. That is unacceptable. I will decide the soldier's punishment only after hearing their side. I have chosen to appoint Sephiron to Persis to lead the investigation team. Is that acceptable for Pet Sephiron? Sanaki knows that Sephiron is the only person in her entire government that isn't completely corrupt. Ah, <laughs> oh, that must be tough. <laughs> I hear and I obey my Empress. What? But but Apostle Sanaki? This is a dire situation. Accordingly, I judge the Vice Prime Minister, Duke Persis, to be more suited to the world than you, Vice Minister Lakin. That is all. Ugh. Lord Lakin, what shall I do? Duke Namida, my friend, I'm, I'm afraid you must sacrifice every last Benion in the Imperial Occupation Army. But that's ridiculous, but... Ugh. That's that spoiled brat and her cunning little schemes. You'll regret this, Apostle Sanaki. I don't know what you're gonna do about it. Do I have, to, I have time for one more? If it is, especially if it's the one I think it is, it'll be shortish. And her small band of fighters knowingly walk into a trap to save condemned Dayan prisoners. Even without the benefit of Izuka's vast information network, news of Mikaya's heroism in Shifu Swamp spreads like wildfire across so we don't need his ass the once hopeless citizens of day dub her the priestess of dawn and find their spirits restored in their troubled hearts they see in her nothing less than the promise of salvation throughout day the people rise as one against the brutality of their oppressors benyon's occupying forces cannot deal with open war on so many fronts General Jared redeploys his men to key locations to better defend the capital city. Stinky. Jared's forces still outnumber those of the Dayan Liberators, and he has hardened his defenses in hopes of holding off Micaiah's army. The Liberation forces fight with a fury not to be denied, however, and the Occupation Army begins to lose its will to fight, breaking through enemy lines again and again. Micaiah's forces gain vital ground and momentum. I'm glad Despite this is a cutscene. the anger Micaiah feels toward Izuka for his treatment of their Lagu's allies, she continues to lead the army in its lightning-quick advance. Nevasa is now mere days away. Like, I'm glad they're like, yes, they're winning. You don't have to do 10 million different fights to know that they're winning, because you knew they were winning from the beginning. And you knew Sanaki's onto it. You can just go, this is where we are now. We are well ahead. <laughs> Listen, a B and B is the big news afoot. The Apostle has sent an inspection team to investigate the Occupation Army's abuses. Really? I received the message. The preparations are finally complete. But we, it gets better. She also issued an Imperial Addict to the Occupation forces, telling them to cease all military action immediately. Does that mean the fighting is over? That we've won? Indeed. It's hard to believe it's over. It almost seems too easy. And best of all, Duke Persis is leading the inspection team. Be home free the moment they arrive. Our worries are over. Duke Persis. Lord Sephiroth? So Apostle Sonic is dispatching one of the Empire's greatest men to handle this. I mean, like, you kind of have to give the best you've got in a situation like this. What kind of man is he? He's amazing. The best person ever. He's incredibly influential and high up, but he never stood in ceremony with us. Well, go on, you guys. Don't just stand there. You have to spread the news. We have to spread the news? Aren't you going with us? Uh, nah. It's mostly you're doing. We'll hold back. Let you take the glory. It's just Zuka, isn't it? You don't want to come because he'll be with the prince. Well, yeah, basically. And I don't blame him whatso one bit whatsoever. Alright, but wait here. We'll come right back once we've announced the good news. He's just gonna stand there for ten years. <laughs> Waiting. In light of which, Her Imperial Highness Empress Sanaki has conveyed to you the sea deck. Occupation forces are hereby lay down all arms, convene in day and keep, and await the inspection team. Hmm. Duke Namida maintains that your forces performed alleged abuses independently and in flagrant violations of his orders. The Apostle, in her mercy, will hear your testimony. Do not abuse her magnanimous spirit and lose your small advantage. 
I had vivid memories of him killing that man. I don't know why. <laughs> vivid. Lives in my brain rent free. Ha, <laughs> what a magnificently ruthless maneuver. Didn't know Namita had it in him. Disowning the entire occupation army and framing me for directions. Brilliant. Well, I mean, it was done on your watch. So, like, kind of was your fault, wasn't it? So then, the game is over. Might we at least drag Duke Namita down with us? Not a chance. We are proof to Duke Namita, and therefore the entire Senate is corrupt. No doubt they'll work together to silence us. Besides, there's more tantalizing prey and most tottering relics. If I'm to fall, so too should be the one who upended our plans and drove us to this dead end. That girl. Oh, I like that. One final mission. You create a diversion with the truth tonight after dark. I'll seek our target. The girl's silver me in head. I don't think I got a preparation screen for this chapter. I think it is just... go. Ahem, silence. Prince Pallius would not like to favor you with a word. You may begin, my prince. Am I dreaming? Everything looks so delicious. What should I eat first? I don't give a fuck what the prince said. Everyone, you've done a fine job. Once the inspection team arrives, Dan will be free once again. In anticipation of our emancipation, I invite you to eat and drink to your heart's content. Yes. I love to eat and drink. It's the only cheer because he had food and drink. Not because of him. Okay, I well, guess we do. Interesting. This screen scared me <laughs> when I first played it. I was like, why is it just Micaiah? What's in the shop? Shine. Okay. I love light magic. I should give that to her. A master seal that I can't afford. Um, statue frag. Build by two. Mm, okay. Work. <laughs> she can't even use it. Can I sell anything? Like, is there anything that would be worth selling? No. Literally not. Um. Let's look at info. Pelias. Soth, how unusual to see you alone. Prince Pallius, you here to see a Micaiah? Yes, at least I intended to, but she is quite popular, isn't she? She's always so busy talking to everyone that I can never get near her. They're your soldiers. Tell them to get out of the way. No, I can't do that. My job is to be the symbol of Dayan's liberation. But the Priestess of Dawn is no mere symbol. For her, the soldiers would gladly give their lives. Prince Pallius? Oh, don't worry, Soth. I'm not jealous, if that's what you're thinking. It isn't like that. Though I do have to admit, I do envy her from time to time. That is what is known as jealousy, Pralius. Um, hmm. I almost forgot. Here, these war funds are for you. But the war is over. And besides, this is a small fortune. Yes, well, share it with the troops if you like. I may not be much of a leader, but I truly appreciate the sacrifices everyone has made. They deserve something in return. Divide it up as you see fit. I trust your judgement. Prince Pallius, you should be the one to give the troops their reward. I'm going to spend that on a Master Seal. <laughs> Lady Micaiah. Hello, Jill. What are you doing here? So you walking over here as I heading back to my tent. Something wrong? You shouldn't be leaving camp by yourself. I'm just exhausted from talking to so many people. But there's no need for concern. I just need some time to myself. Now you mention it. You do look a little peel. Why not rest in your tent? It'll be much more comfortable. I don't want Soth and the others to know how tired I am. They worry too much. I see that. Soth seems so detached from everything, unless it involves you. He gets so worked up. Strikes me as a bit overprotective. We've always lived by ourselves, just the two of us. I don't think he can help it. I'll bring you some medicine. I'll make sure no one sees me. I'll meet you at your tent. Oh no, that won't be necessary. Do you see that tree? I'll be resting over there. I should recover in no time. But I'll be safe. We're still in camp. Besides, we have an errand your own to take care of. Must be really important to leave the feast so early in the evening. Oh no, not really. I just thought I'd write a letter to a friend. That's all. To the man you told me about? The one you run a wyvern delivery service with? <laughs> it's her and her. I love that for them. Well, um, yes. You know everything, don't you, Lady Micaiah? You're gonna tell him the fighting's over, right? Yes, more than everything. He despises trouble. He made a delivery to Benion and never returned. I'm sure it's the war that's kept him away. Really? Well, indirectly at least. To be honest, it's probably more about his napping. Give him a few minutes of free time and he's sure to close his eyes and drift away. 
war would suddenly disrupt his sleep schedule. What an interesting fellow. Well, you should write him and let him know it's safe to return. You sure you're alright? You're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm fine. Please don't worry about me. Alright, I'll let you relax alone then. Oh, but here, please take this. What is it? It's a pass scroll. Might come in handy. Please keep it if you'd like. Thank you, Jill. I will. Good night, Lady Micaiah. So pass, if I believe, is a skill that lets you like pass through enemy units. So like, you know, usually you can't walk past an enemy. This will make it that you can. Micaiah has Paragon, so she can't equip it. Whoa. Yune, what is it? You don't need to slip away from the banquet, too. That bird has no business at the banquet. Silly you. You're kind of a mysterious bird, you know that? How is it you can even fly around even at night? Oh, Yune, for some reason I feel so tired lately. But it won't be long. I'll go back home to Navasa and then see you day in. So you escaped the idiot's ball to be alone? A trusting of you, Silverheart Maiden. No, I'm sorry, Priestess of Dawn. You really can't work miracles. You best work one up for yourself now. Yeah, what? Oh, Benny on soldiers. She did not hear a speech. She did not give a fuck. Anyway, yes. Um. So <laughs> this is a. Are they pre? -pro no, they're level one soldiers. I was like, oh my god, they're pre promotions. So this is a solo Micaiah chapter. Conditions: defeat boss. Micaiah dies. Yeah. General Jared, why are you here? I'm doomed thanks to you, but if I have to go down, I'm taking someone with me. The General to the Dayan Liberation Army, the revered Priestess of Dawn. Even if you kill me, the Kingdom of Dayan will be reborn. As long as the Prince survives, the people will fight. Ha, <laughs> the Prince. He's a sham, a travesty, a clod of mud, no amount of polishing should shine. The real jewel, whose radiance attracts the people like moths to flame, is you, Priestess. So I shall steal you and extinguish Dayan's light of hope. No despair, Priestess of Dawn. Ah. Uh. Oh. Who are you? Like, the gag. And when you see the Black Knight, you're like, oh my god, it's the villain. But like, the Black Knight is loyal to Dayan, so he's a good guy, though. <laughs> Be at ease, maiden. I shall not let him harm you. I was once one of the four riders, serving the army of Old Dayan. If you recall the name of the Black Knight, you would withdraw from this place at once. Right, that's precious. You're the legendary Black Knight. Maybe you haven't heard. He died in the war. Also, like, but like, I know that, Char, but like, where do you get the armor? Like, he's massive. <laughs> Let's put your claim to the test, if only to indulge my own amusement. Then have at me, and learn your folly. In due time, but before I bother, why don't you go have a go round with my restless minions? Dice the torches. <laughs> Maiden, I shall be your shield. Remain at my side. I will. I know I can trust you. So, it's a tiny map, but, um, It's like... Right, I'm gonna talk to the Black Knight. So, essentially, what's happening here? You have to kill the boss, but you have the Black Knight and Micaiah, and that's it. You're not getting any more of your units, but there's Fog of War. Sir Knight, how did you know I was in danger? That is not important right now. Are you injured? Black Knight is invincible. Even, like, he's got 70 health. He's got a shit ton of defense. You know, that's fine, but... Um, Micaiah obviously is Micaiah. She's fragile as anything. It's quite tough, I will say. So there is a likelihood I will die. No, I'm alright. Maiden, stay by me. I will not let them harm me. I know you won't. Thank you. I think this is the first chapter that um, influences your second playthrough because second playthrough in this game has some differences, and I think it's either this chapter or the next chapter that the Black Knight is a part of. 
that influence that because um, the Black Knight, you have to use him. Um, in order to like, sorry, let me start again. So, if you do New Game Plus on this, it's not really New Game Plus, but like, second playthrough, there are changes in the storyline and um, such and such. Right, that is the edge of the map. Um, and, but don't. Don't do it. Yeah, so essentially there are changes in the storyline, depending on your actions. That's okay. And one of these things you have to do in order to get the special things in the second chapter is you have to use the Black Knight whenever he's available. Oh, fuck. This is not good. Um, he. <laughs> Can you hit there? All right, Makai, you use the herd. It's not gonna help you. Yeah, I think the guy is dead, I'm afraid. But yeah, um, there are a couple other things you have to do, but yeah, she's dead. Oh! Okay, no, she did kill him, which is an issue, because now the other person is free to attack. Fuck. Okay, great. Um, no death, stream, field. The maiden is lost and her miracles have drawn dry. She'll day in streams also dissolve into dust. I didn't see it before this, did I? See, that's what I meant, like, it's so easy to get cornered, because it's a small map, and, you know, things happen. Okay, it's fine. Let's, just, let's, let's go. I can't just skip this. Let's see if so I don't want to skip it again. I'll get it this time. It's all okay. It's fine. Let's skip this again. Maybe if we do like the same thing again, it'll be different. At least in this chapter, Makai gets a shit ton of experience. Is the only thing. Like, especially with Paragon, like she's going to rake in levels. Which is very important, because we kind of want Mikaya to get a lot of experience soon. For reasons that I will not get into right now. And by soon, I mean like soon. Yeah, there we are. Okay. I think if we hold out in this corner, it should be fine. Yeah, because there's your one. Okay, I can chill there. We'll be able to see anyone. We'll be able to approach from all sides. So if someone's coming from the left, they're not going to be close enough to attack Makai, I don't think. Right, okay. No one should come from the east, I don't think. That guy was definitely close enough to attack Makai. I apologize for my previous statements. I think I fucked it again. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, she's dead. Makai, just, just don't get doubled. 
Okay, she might be okay. That was a good level. Jared should turn up soon, I think. He does spawn in. I think is the thing. Right, use your herb. Let's expose Micaiah from both ends. I'm gonna kill him because he's in 1 2 range. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like. <laughs> Oh, I should have put her into the back corner. That's actually so far. Right, we'll get it this time, folks. Don't worry about it. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I know you're worrying, but it's okay. We got it this time. Skip that. I'm gonna sneeze now. I don't want to talk to you. Ah, oh, that was such a good level to who as well. That's upsetting. Excuse me. Oh god. When you hit the bite, no. I want you to ding the armor off him. I'm gonna sneeze. I didn't sneeze. Great. Love that for me. Right, yeah, I'd like to trade. Can I have that vulnerary? Thank you. Okay, can you... I'm gonna do stand there. No, stand there, okay. Black Knight is beside her, helping her, so it's okay. Great. Love that for me. Can't... Fuck. Okay. Well, I wasn't gonna move her anyway. Can I kill him? Yes. Okay, um... I think that's where I need to put him. Yeah, okay, that was good. That worked out. Exactly why I would have come in and attacked Micaiah. And instead of doing that, he didn't. Oh! I didn't even look at that. I forgot that you had that skill. Okay, I'm gonna look at that now. Maybe, yeah, we should look at the Black Knight. Anyway, he's got the Island Knight, which is the Mystic Blade Blast by the Goddess of Shira. And um, he got that now. Clips can neutralize an enemy defense. His multiply unit strength by 5. He's got Nihil, he's got Imbue. He doesn't really need Imbue because he's never gonna take damage, so. If I die by one health, I'll be fucking sick. Okay, okay, work. Okay, this is where we lost every other turn. So we should be able to do it. Okay, right, let's take him out. Let's just end the turn now, okay? I'm not quite sure what to do now. Let's just wait. Okay, let's wait here. 
Should have waited there. No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Someone's gonna come from the left. Okay. <laughs> I'm stressed out now. <laughs> this this chapter is stressing me out. There's a total of ten spaces, like, honestly. Right, end. Black Knight fucking it up though. When does when does he get here? I do have to ask that question. I mean, this is the perfect spot if you know what you're doing. Do I seem like someone that knows what they're doing? Absolutely not, and I'm well aware of that. So hopefully this is it. Anything? Okay, no. Now we start to explore. Because I think the enemies have stopped coming at this stage. Yes, okay. So that's fine. Right. Black Knight, what do you want to do? There we are. I may have been wrong. <laughs> I would like to admit that I'm fine with being wrong. If I wasn't, then I would be on fine. A lot of the time. Let's just say that. Now, where exactly is Jared stationed? Let me cut you move two spaces up. Work. Okay, you do not need to use Eclipse and all these guys. Like, I know you want to flex, but, like, you know, it's not entirely necessary. And I'm not letting Makaya in harm's way. I'm just gonna kill everyone with the Black Knight. I can get I can get her experience on the next chapter. And I'm standing her two spaces behind everyone for good reason. Because if I put her like right next to him. He'll be protecting her, but um, she'll also. Oh, cool. Yeah, the coin, I guess. Where the hell is this guy? Like, I'm sorry. Right there. Okay, I work. Right, Makai, you just stay there. <laughs> Actually, Makai, can you reach him? No. Okay. Cool. Be here. I see you're pretty impressed with yourself. Do you think the likes of you could be a worthy opponent for me? <laughs> know your place. Excuse me. He does survive one hit. That's exciting. That's why he's the boss, I guess. Anyway, thank fuck. <laughs> Make your peace. This blow will be your end. <laughs> How kind of you. Crit him. Gorg. Alder? What? You? Why are you here? I'd rather fight beside my general than create a distraction with the other soldiers. You idiot, who asked you to join me? General Jared, you're a terror to work under. Even so, I've always sensed a kindred spirit in you. Gay. Gay people. I will follow you and fight for you to the very gates of the abyss. He was a good soldier. What now? Why don't you kill me? My sword is not made for killing those who will not raise their weapons. You gotta be kidding me. Stop, stop it, both of you. A man has died protecting you. Don't waste his sacrifice. This is not the end. No, it's not. You would simply let him go. He's not ours to judge. He belongs to the Apostle now. I suppose he must bury his fallen friend and pray before facing her. 
I don't think Jared is a praying type. I think he's gonna kick that man to the river or something. You have my thanks for saving me. There's no need for thanks. Micaiah, are you safe? I heard bloodshed. You, Micaiah, run. So it's okay. This night just saved my life. What? Micaiah, do you know who this is? Everybody knows who he is, Soth. He's the Black Knight. One of the four riders under King Ashnard and the strongest swordsman. Exactly. The scum that General Ike defeated in Nado's castle in Crimea three years ago. So how can he be here now, alive? Well, sorry. So, I don't know if you remember, but um, I don't think you were deployed that chapter. You were dead at that stage, actually. <laughs> My apologies. Um, I did not beat the Black Knight. <laughs> You are correct, Soth. I did defeat me in that battle, in a fashion. But as you can see, I managed to escape. What do you want? For Dayan to raise its banner as a kingdom once again. I came here to protect those who are necessary for that dream. Soth, General Jared was here a moment ago. If the Black Knight hadn't stepped in, Jared would have killed me. What? I, I don't see his corpse here. And that means he's still alive, isn't he? Yes, there was another soldier who sacrificed his life protecting Jared. I presume Jared's burying him now. Oh, oh no. What is it? I see a dark cloud. It's dimming the light of hope. By letting Jared go, I may have allowed something terrible to happen. You aren't sure? So, th I haven't told you, but I haven't been feeling well lately. My mind feels foggy. Things I could always see clearly are now dim and vague. I may have committed to us an irreversible fate. I shall aid you. No matter what Jared may plot, I will prevent it. Makai and I don't want your help, so stop that. In King Ashnard's war, you served below General Ike, and you and the Black Knight were enemies. But now, your comrades with the same goal, Dane's restoration. Listen to me, the Black Knight was Dane's strongest general. We need him. And I'm willing to serve. Yes. Sir Knight, that you should come to us now is surely by the will of the Goddess. I thank you for your aid just now, and ask you to lend us your strength a while longer. May my swords serve you well, Maiden of Dawn. I don't like this. He is overpowered as shit, though, so if you gotta admit. Okay. I think it's... Are we into the end game now? I think, maybe? Bop Remix. A figure from Dayan's past appears unexpectedly in the night. A figure thought to have perished in the Mad King's War. The blood-stained right hand of the king himself. The mysterious Black Knight. He did kill quite a few of my members, actually. The Black Knight protects Micaiah against Jared's cowardly surprise attack. However, Micaiah senses that Jared has one last move to make. Deprived of his chance to capture Micaiah, Jared abandons all notions of retreat or negotiation. Instead, he makes plans for revenge. He's he smart. murders an emissary from his homeland of Benyon and reclaims control of Dayan. There Kip. we go. He did kill him. Within the <laughs> keep, he launches a savage barrage of catapult fire, all but destroying the castle town. The momentary peace that arrived with the Benyon emissary shatters along with Nevasa's walls. And the people of the city see their kin and their capital crushed under a rain of stone. That's so sure. This treachery proves too much for them, and their grief explodes into rage. Sure. Micaiah and company have pitched camp on a nearby hillside. When this merciless attack begins, its brutality leaves them lost for words. Well, this isn't going very well. There we go, end game, day and arise. So this is the end of part one, this is the final chapter. When I got to this, when I was first playing this game, I thought this was the end of the game. I was like, that wasn't much. Because <laughs> this is my first Fire Emblem, I was like, I didn't get to use that Master Seal that I didn't buy. I didn't buy it. Oh, fuck me. Benyon is attacking Nevasa. There's obviously quite a lot left of the game. No, my parents live there. They're far too old and frail to defend themselves. My wife and kids are there too. It's a heartless murderer, Jared. Just wants to suffer to the bitter end. Prince Pelias, we have to do something. We must liberate Navasa and save the people from this brutal attack. Is there no end to your lunacy? The Apostle's envoy is nearly here. Why be rash when victory is so close? 
People are dying, and the Vasa has already suffered more than enough. Do you really expect us not to lift a finger to help? If you will not help, we will go by ourselves. Again. Wait, where are you going? You can't take the Lagus and rush on some Herbrian mission again. Can't I? Oh, she's, she does serve severely. Of course not, you idiot girl. You've already been far too impulsive, acting without the prince's consent. And do you think I do not see what has happened? Your name has been raised to lavish heights among the Dayan people. Your name and yours alone. Why, even our old soldiers heap their praise on you like sugar on berries, sparing not a thought for their prince. Oh. Not the prince. He's a sham. A travesty. A cloud of mud no amount of polishing could shine. I quite like this, like, in battle scene framed as a flashback. I quite like that. Rather than just like a static image of portraits talking to each other. It's different. The real jewel whose radiance attracts people like moths to flame is you, priestess. So I shall steal you and extinguish Dan's light of hope. Yeah, no one gives a fuck about Peleus. My apologies. And then, even once a rightful king is crowned, the people still await the approval of their priest precious priestess of dawn. Why, if we're not careful, some calculated wretches might decide they would rather see a priestess on the throne instead of a king. And once again, this country will be torn apart, all because of your glory hounding in disregard for our prince's command. Please, Azuka. Come to think of it, perhaps our priestess here has been planning this all along. Pretending to help the prince, but in truth she seeks the word of crying herself. Stop your tongue, worm, or my knife will stop it for you. The only one who seems too hungry for power here is you. That's enough. Oh, we get the bop again. Izuka, Micaiah does not deserve any such attack on her character. She's pure and noble, and I... I am inadequate. Have her actions poisoned your mind too, my prince? Since we met, Micaiah has led every battle. Even joining the soldiers in the battlefield. Not so with me. I cannot defend my people. I got our people not rally around her. They see her fighting, throwing her lot in with their own. They respect her. That said, things cannot remain as they are. Izuka is right to worry about my standing. I need to earn my people's respect. Therefore, therefore I must take action. I thought at this point it was like, oh my god, Pelias party member? Wait a minute. It's not. <laughs> um. Soldiers of the Liberation Army, heed my... No, no, hear my words. I am Pelias, true Prince of Dayan. Yes, we know who you are, my lord. We ought to by now. <laughs> my man getting hackled by his own army. And so, uh, so, uh... Is he all right? Prince. Sir Knight? I mean, I would turn around if the Black Knight was there. And so, and so beloved friends and comrades dear, with thanks to you our capital lies close and if we do not act, if we turn back, the war still ends with us the victor's pride, and Dayan's rule still falls back into our hands. And if we choose to fight and free this town, we may enrage the Empire once again. Thus Dayan's fortune turns to Swaro Sift. Who? But while I speak, Navas's hardship grows. Our brothers suffer, our sisters die, and... I shall not... I... I cannot ignore this tragedy. No man can, and certainly no prince. I cannot look away when my people suffer. And so I ask, I ask you all, please, will you join me? That was a cool speech, to be fair. I would also join him. If I was already in the army, if I was outside of the army, I'd be like, hmm, not my thing. Long live the prince. Long live Prince Pallius. Long live day, and it's time to see of our country. Black Knight is going home. <laughs> Those goats.
Those were not horses. Whose horse is that? Um. Okay, so. Taking this path. No, you're taking that by. Does anyone else need anything? Well, no one really. Well, I was gonna say no one used anything last chapter, but we couldn't check last chapter. I'm sorry. Sorry, I could do with another um, dagger, actually. Um, she's fine. He's fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. Buy a dagger for Sauron. I will be leaving after this, but I'm just gonna kind of fed everybody out before I stop. Why do I keep calling you Sauron? That's so. What's in the shop? Arc fire, arc thunder. Bold of you to assume that anyone in my army can use any of these things, but I will be buying an arc thunder for Eliana because I love her. She can't use it. <laughs> um, okay, support. Anyone increase their support? No. Well, like this is the only person that can not support with anyone. But we'll read these and then we'll probably stop. Hi Fiona, you've been really shit recently. Recently? When did she stop? Lady Mikaya, I'm sorry to bother you while we prefer for battle. May I have a word with you? Of course, what can I help you with? My memory serves me correctly. You always use this type of tone, correct? Yes, that's right. Oh, I'm glad I remember correctly. Then please take this. It's not hard, Fiona. Light magic. There's like five kinds. It's one out of five. Light magic. It's pretty easy. For me, are you sure? It's a token of appreciation for letting me and Murado join your army. I wish I didn't have to. We're lucky to have you, and thank you. I'll use this tone well. I seen the Prince Palace's speech earlier, and certain a day will exist in you. Be a greater and more unified country than ever before. I agree. So many things have happened along the way, but I'm glad to be here now. I feel happy and very proud. I feel the same way. I'm sure all of the soldiers of the Liberation Army do as well. Dayan will soon be free. Lady Micaiah, please lead us to victory. Yes, together we'll see victory. Another Thani, great. Let's talk to Volug. Volug, where, how'd you get this? From the ruins in the desert? Oh, you got it when we were there before? No? Then how? When? So, very interesting that Micaiah speaks this language. Why, it's for me? Wait, Volug, did he go back to the desert just to get this? Oh, a blue gem. That's really weird. I'm gonna sell that right now. Sell items. Blue gem. 5,000. Was there something I wanted to buy as well? Mm, recover? Oh, and. I don't think I need the recover tone. I don't really need arc fire. Do I need another hand axe? Yes. <laughs> Of course I do! Jill definitely needs three hand axes. <laughs> okay, well you know what, in that case, right, let's save. And on that note, um, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. We made great progress, um, we got three chapters done, and we only got two, <laughs> three chapters and we only got two game overs, like, that's great. Um, and we didn't lose anybody as well, so that is incredible. Um, so I hope everyone enjoyed, um, I certainly did. And um, I hope I'll see you all next time. I think um, I think I might stream during the day tomorrow because like I've got like a wash to put on, and then I had to do some shopping, and then after that I've got like the whole day to myself. So I'm like I might stream some more. Probably not Fire Emblem. I was thinking. I know I did some Final Fantasy 14 last week, and I was like I might do some of that, but at the same time I've been really itching to play Kingdom Hearts again, so I might do that instead. I might put up like a poll on Twitter later and see what people think, but um, anyway, that's tomorrow. It'll be like an afternoon time, um, so 
Anyway, yeah, so but that's all for tonight, and I will see you all next time.